Claude, I know that you are so focused on employee happiness as, as a real core part of, of the role and really advocating for that um, amongst leadership teams and organizations. So what, what are some of the tactics that leaders can embrace to sort of maintain company culture, but also create um, employee happiness at this stage? Yeah, so one of the things that is essential is transparent communication and often, so whether or not that is all hand meetings that you have with your entire company or your department, but you need to be, you need to be transparently communicating whether or not that is the finances, whether or not that is we've let people go, whether or not we're on a hiring spree or a hiring freeze. So the way to create employee engagement, I believe, is for the leaders to be available, to have open Q&A sessions. This is the time. Whether, whatever is going on in that environment that you're in, the culture that you're in, let's talk about it. There's no reason to hide. There's absolutely no reason to hide because everyone can see through that now. So please, please, if anything, you know, communicate more. You know, talk about the fact as a leader what you're working on, you know, what you're reading, what you're doing to improve yourself. You know, make it seem like we're all in this together. And during this time where we're not physically accessible to one another, we still want to progress in our lives. We still want feedback. We still want growth. We still want opportunities and at-bats. So let's make sure that we can give our employees that in an authentic way. You know, there should be no, there should be no difference other than I'm looking at you on a screen. You know, brainstorming can still happen those types of things. So as much as we can normalize the experience for our cultures, the better we will be and, and, and have some fun. I mean, you know, as, as silly as that is, you know, have a wine Wednesday, have a scavenger hunt, do icebreakers. It is the time I think to be more authentic. We need that. Everyone needs it. I, lo I love it. It's, it's very much around, you know, the, the, the human connection sort of like, you know, through every single part of it. I, I remember someone saying to me that, could you imagine starting um, uh, every conversation at work purely just focused on work? So not actually asking, you know, how are you? Or did you check out the football results or the soccer results, you know, from, from the weekend? Um, and uh, literally just be going straight into the agenda items. And that's sometimes what, you know, we can end up doing in an, in an online space is just wanting to talk about work to get it through because we have so many of these, but actually really taking that space to, to enable people to, to take time out, to connect with each other at a, at a human level, I think is so, so important. It, it is, and Abby, you know, one of the things we need to really remember is that we have new joiners starting mm -hmm. that have never been in the office, that have never seen you or their manager in face-to-face -face other than a screen. So orientation practices, onboarding practices, these are so essential to spend time in. And as you're spending time being human, because, you know, imagine the courage it takes to start a new job, never, ever being in the office. Like, it would blow me away. And I've been working for 30 years, you know? So leaning in and saying, like, this is really courageous. We're so glad you're here with us. What a surreal time. You know, let's, let's have some fun. You know, go on a listening tour. These things, we have to be, we have to be better. We really, really have to be better. And to take down the armor that some of us carry into the office place. There's just no need for it right now because of this collective experience.